In today's video, I want to show you how we can use a for loop in Python to teach people their times tables. Basically, the app is going to ask you a question at the start, which times tables would you like to learn? And you just need to type in whatever time tables you want to learn. So let's say we want to learn our five times tables. So we type in five, press enter. And there's our five times tables. If I just run that code one more time, we try a different number, for example, our 12 times tables. Press enter and you get your 12 times tables. Alrighty, it's not a very big app, so let's get started on it now. So in Python, just go to File and New File. Make yourself a blank document. Just close off the shell. And we're going to start from scratch here. Alrighty, so the first thing we want to do is we might create a variable. Okay, this variable is going to be called Multiplier. And it's going to equal an input. So we're going to get the user to input what timetables they want to learn. Okay, so we'll just write which times tables would you like to learn? Question mark, space, quotation marks, brackets. Now because we are working with numbers and not a string, we need to convert this into an integer. Okay, so before the word input, I just want you to write INT and put a bracket, and at the very end, close the bracket. And what that does is it takes the string that the user enters in and converts it into an integer or a whole number. Alrighty, so now that we've got the user entering in what timetables they'd like to learn, it's stored in the multiplier variable, we can now start the loop to write our times tables. Okay, so as I said before, it's going to be a for loop. So write the word for. And we're just going to do i in range. Okay, the i is just a random variable that we came up with there. You could use any word or letter there, whatever you wanted. But i is standard practice um, in coding, so let's just stick with the letter i. So for i in range, we want to start at number 1. And we'll finish by the time we get to our 13 um, times table. All right, it won't go any higher than 12. Okay, as soon as it gets to 13, it just stops. All right, so for i in range 1 to 13, now we press enter, and we're going to print i to start with. So i starts at 1, and then as it loops around, it goes 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That just keeps going all the way through. After i, we're going to put in quotation marks and just write x, which actually stands for times. So it'll be i times, which is 1 times, 2 times, 3 times etc. And it's going to be times by whatever number the user typed in up here, so the multiplier. So let's write in multiplier variable. Put a comma. Then we're going to put in quotation marks an equal sign. And another comma. And the last thing we need to do is i times multiplier. Just do that in brackets for me if you can. All right, so we can close off that final bracket there now. So you've got two closing brackets at the end. So let's just have a look at this again. For i in range 1 to 13, so it's basically going to go from 1 through to 12 and then stop. We're going to print i, which is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 1 times whatever the user typed in as their multiplier, and that's going to equal... And we'll just do the maths quickly. So i times the multiplier. So 1 times, say, 5. Then it'd be 2 times 5, 3 times 5. And this loop just keeps looping around and around and around and again until we get to the number 13 and it stops. All right, a little bit confusing, I know, but if we save that up on the desktop, uh, I'm going to call that one times tables and then go to run. Okay, it asks us which times tables we want to learn. Let's put in 8, press enter, and there's our 8 times tables. Now if I just move this to the side, this print section just here, okay, this is what we're printing out on each line over here. So let's have a closer look at it, where it says I. As I said before, I is 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Remember, I goes all the way up to the number 12, and it stops before it gets to the number 13. The X here, in green is just the x that you see here. Okay, the multiplier is what I typed in over here. So that's the 
input that we put in so that just runs down there then we've got the equals sign here in quotation marks that puts the equals sign into our answers and then we do the mass the i which is all these numbers here times by the multiplier which is the number we typed in and we just get the answer and stick it in at the end okay hopefully that wasn't too confusing once you have a bit of a play with those four loops you'll start to get the hang of them okay so save that up and you're all done